when we were in the process of writing and I saw what we wanted a dog to do and preferably a Rottweiler. And I thought, Gray, Gray, we will never get this out of a dog. We will have to find an American Rottweiler that was trained there in Hollywood. Casting the dog, we were quite lucky there, you know, because I, I spoke to Vicky Brooker, who is one of the partners in the farm where we shot. And I said, who do you recommend? She said, go to Julie Besaid. And I told her what we needed and, and she said, yeah, she's got Adam. And she trained him specifically for this movie for about four months, I think. And when I saw Adam for the first time, he was ginormous. And I was like, yo, guys, I don't know, hey? So, so with Jock of the Bushveld, with Mfubu, that dog, we, we tricked him a lot. You know, we were always making bangs here and getting him to look there and getting there. We were tricking him into doing what in, something that looked like what he was supposed to be doing, if that makes any sense. And I think with his experience of Jock of the Bushveld, he, he had a hard time making that dog work. But it worked in the end. And he was confident that he's going to do the same with Adam. Whereas with Adam, he was trained to do these things. So that's what he did. And so he was very well trained by Judy. She's an extraordinary dog handler. And I was stunned at what this animal did. I was just stunned. Because for me, Rottweilers are not of the best dogs to be trained. And sometimes, you know, when you're filming on location, animals can get, you know, a bit edgy and you don't know what's gonna come out of it. It's, it was such a lovable, kind animal, really. No aggression, absolutely no aggression. But if you wanted to be aggressive, Julie, the trainer, knows how to do it. It was a joy because we didn't waste time. I mean, there, obviously there were times when it took long and you're waiting for those five seconds, which you know you can use of one specific thing. But then Julie would take him away and she would remind him, remember this and this and this. And not once did he disappoint us. I was amazed at how well-trained this dog eventually was. And I think he plays a major part in this, uh, in this movie. And also what's interesting is we did it with one dog. Very often on, on movies of this nature, you've got two dogs or three dogs that look the same and you try and hope that one of them is gonna behave on the day. But we had one wonderful dog.